All right, Woozle, time for bed. You've had a busy day today. You met my, I met my dear friend Alex. Alex is, he's a good boy. He knows exactly what to say. <laughs> and he's funny too, in his own special little way. You know, I think today's story might have something to do with being different and being a little bit jealous as well. Like I've been these past couple of days. Oh, hi. I was just sending Woozle here to bed, telling him about my day. I saw my friend today. It feels so good to be able to go out and even if I have to keep using the crutch. Crutches, by the way, are the hospital things I have to use. I admit it's, it's not the easiest thing for me to use. It's, I miss being able to walk and being able to talk, being able to ru run and play and it's been hard. But all I can do is keep healing. Mind you, I suppose Jasmine is quite lucky. I have my partner, and he takes good care of me. And I have my little friend Woozle here. But I wonder what it would be like if Woozle here ever came, became jealous of me, wandering around and playing. Like I used to before I got seriously hurt. It is getting better slowly, but I don't know how long it will last. How long I'll last. That's the scary part. Anyway, maybe today's story will cheer me up, eh? Today's story is an Aladdin story and it's called Grumpy Raja. It wasn't always easy being the daughter of a sultan. Sometimes Jasmine thought she would be the loneliest girl in Agrabah, if not for Raja, her pet tiger and best friend. But apparently it wasn't always easy being a tiger e either. Raja was having a bad day. What's got into you? Jasmine asked him, but Raja just looked at her and growled again. Hmm, Jasmine said thoughtfully. She hated it when Raja was down, but what could she do to cheer him up? As a princess, Jasmine wasn't allowed outside the palace, and she wasn't allowed to do much either. But one thing she could do was be a good friend to Raja, and she was determined to do just that. You know what you need? Jasmine asked. Raja paced back and forth. You need to try and relax. Jasmine told Raja. Raja just looked at her. You know, Jasmine replied, loosen up. Have a good thing. Good time. <laughs> Raja began to growl again. All right, all right. Jasmine held up her hands in surrender. I'll stop. But she just couldn't let it go. She really wanted Raja to be happy. Jasmine patted her tiger on the back. You know, Raja, I wouldn't be saying this if I didn't care about you. You have to enjoy life, not growl at it. Look at me. I spend all my time talking to the brainless, unpleasant princes my father brings, for, brings around. But I still try to have fun whenever I can. Raja lay down and put his paws over his ears. Finally, Jasmine understood. You're jealous of all those princes, she said. Raja looked up. Jasmine was right. He was sick and tired of all those princes coming to the palace. Jasmine lovingly scratched Raja under, behind the ear. Jealousy isn't very becoming, she teased him, even in tigers. 
I know I haven't been spending much time with you lately, Raja, but it's not like I have a choice. The law says I have to find a prince to marry. Princes, Raja thought. Rawr. But you know, Jasmine continued, hugging his tiger, her tiger around his big furry neck. I like you better than any prince. Raja began to purr, and Jasmine smiled. <laughs> Princess, she thought. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Raja was jealous of all those princes that had to come and see his best friend. But then again, all it took was Raja to cheer Jasmine up after all those visits, because she wasn't enjoying them either. Imagine being forced to marry just because it was a law. That would be pretty horrible. I'm going to wish you good night now. But I want you to have a good long think. What would you do to stop you getting jealous? I've got someone visiting me tomorrow. I'm really excited. And I'll always have my hu my hubby. And I'll always have you, Woozle, and all my friends. I wish you good night, my friends. God bless.